Two former world number ones were in action in Doha in the opening round of the Qatar Open. Caroline Wojnacki and Anna Ivanovic both booked their place in the second round. Defending champion Victoria Azarenka begins her campaign on Tuesday with main rival Serena Williams also in action. Sana Hamouche reports. With four former world number ones and five Grand Slam winners, all eyes are on Doha this week as 17 out of the world's top 18 women's players compete at the Qatar Open. Current world number one Victoria Azarenka is fresh off her second straight Australian Open title. The Belarusian is hungry for more titles and is a defending champion. The first one is always, it's like your first love, you know, and uh, you think it's the best thing that ever happened to you um, until you get the second one. Then you think this was the best thing that ever happened to you. So you're just always looking for that opportunity to to relieve that moment. After being knocked out in the quarterfinals in Melbourne, 15-time Grand Slam champion Serena Williams has shrugged off her injury problems and is ready to get back in action. The world number one ranking could change hands here as Serena seeks to regain it for the first time in two and a half years. But the second seed is facing a tough draw and could come up against Maria Sharapova in the semi-finals. The Russian could also regain the top spot this week. It's certainly a, a challenge and, and something, uh, you know, from a very young age that you look forward to. Um, you know, I've been in that position before. Um, you know, I've, I've held that ranking a few times. Um, I'd love to have it back. It's obviously very meaningful. Um, but it's, I think it's much more important to focus on, you know, on, on the current matches and, and take it one step at a time. Sharapova will be given a special diamond trophy if she wins her third title in Qatar but she'll need to shine brightly to come out on top against the world's best. San Hamush, Al Jazeera, Doha.